Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my other side of my kitchen today. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about sneaky sugar. That stuff is so bad for you and people, it's hidden everywhere. Well, you know I'm Pamela LaPointe, your um, wildly vibrant, wild fit coach, and sugar is not our friend. Sugar is not our friend. And I wanted to show you a few things in your kitchen where you might find sugar that you might not have ever believed. Um, garlic salt. Now this is my own blend because I found sugar in my garlic salt. Garlic salt should be garlic and salt and maybe a little bit of parsley like this, but no other artificial things and no sugar. So check your ingredients and, and try to eliminate sugar from your cupboards. It's not good for you. Now, another place I found sugar. I was using this um, vegetable broth, oh, it's backwards, um, exclusively before I became aware of my health and um, how much sugar can affect it. So, the number one ingredient on here is maltodextrin. And first of all, if you don't even know what the ingredient is, then it shouldn't be going into your body, right? So, I after doing wild fit and learning about sugar, um, I looked it up. It's the number one ingredient, and plus then the number three ingredient is sugar. But um, maltodextrin, if you find that in your food, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's made from corn. This one's made from corn because it has the word on the ingredients, maize, right after it. Um, it comes from corn or rice starch, and it's processed. And sometimes it even comes from potatoes or wheat. So all of those things aren't great for us, the wheat, the potatoes, the corn, the rice. So it tells you something there. It's a highly processed food and it's done by the same process that they make corn syrup solids. Now, we all know corn syrup equals sugar, but they process it in a way so that it has a little bit um, different uh, content. Uh, the sugar is actually broken down a little bit differently. So they don't have to call it corn syrup solids. They get to call it maltodextrin, but it's made the exact same way. And you'll find it in all kinds of things. Even um, the diet industry loves it. So it's in a lot of their diet bars and that kind of stuff because they don't have to label it as sugar. So stay away from this crazy ingredient, maltodextrin. I want to show you a couple more places that you might find sugar in your cupboards that you wouldn't have thought of. Your Thai chili paste. Yeah, I know, I love my chili paste. So I have found a brand that doesn't have sugar. And next time I do this, I have to remember how to flip my phone so that you could actually see it. I know there's a way. Trish Lito will show me, right Trish? Okay, so Thai kitchen red curry paste does not have any sugar in it. Now I know they have other um, flavors. They have a green and they have a roasted red and I think some of them do have sugar, so you have to read the ingredients. Read the labels on everything. All right, hot sauce, sriracha, has sugar. Yeah, what is it needed in there for? I don't know. This brand is not, okay? Frank's red hot sauce. Straight hot sauce, uh, hot red peppers, and some vinegar and spices. That's it. So, those are some places that you might want to try to get that sugar out. All right. Not good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting the sugar out of your life. You're sweet enough without it. All right. Bye for now. If you haven't, hey, join my group. I have a great Facebook group and I'd love to have you be part of it. You'll have to do a search for it. Wild Fit Journey Lifestyle with Pamela LaPointe. Bye.